certainly anxious to get started any time to get a month in the practices and you're going against uh, you know each other, your friends across the line and the, you know, your teammates. Obviously, that gets a little old, but certainly looking forward to uh, seeing that uh, green jersey on Saturday night. But uh, I think the preparation has been uh, been outstanding. This group has worked extremely hard. We went 16 straight days without a, taking time off. We did. Some practices were a little easier than others, but it was still 16 straight days. They handled it very well. Um, and as a group, I think uh, they're one of the hardest working teams that, uh, that I've had since I've been here. So, you know, all that being said, obviously, uh, we've got a uh, tough opponent to, to go up against. Obviously, uh, if you didn't see the game, we did watch it live, the Maryland uh, William and Mary game, and uh, we're able to certainly break that game down. And uh, they should have beaten Maryland. So the this is typical of a CAA team, uh, a strong CAA team that, that certainly can go against the likes of the ACC and those people. Uh, if it weren't for a drop pass, uh, William and Mary would be 1-0 right now. So we certainly know the, what the task is in front of us. Uh, you watch them on tape, you come up with four things. They're, they're big, fast, strong, and athletic. So uh, other than that, not much else to say about their very good football team. They're, they're well prepared. Um, coach has been there a long time and uh, do a great job. We anticipate a terrific atmosphere down there Saturday night. And it has historical significance, uh, you know, for us at Lafayette with the uh, battle at Yorktown, which uh, we'll be handing out a little, little information sheet. So we'll make this a little educational as well. We'll be giving Gary Laubach an exam afterwards to see if make sure his history is up to, uh, up to date. I know Gary's big on that kind of thing. So. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's game week, it's Tuesday, uh, we're in full game week preparation. We did get an extra day yesterday, uh, took Sunday off, and then did get a light practice in yesterday for a little added preparation. We've been focused, and we got a lot to prove. So, you know, around campus and through the community and just throughout the league and to America. So, you know, we have a lot to prove, and we're just ready to get it done and get some wins. The freshman class, a uh, lot like I thought, the majority of them not going to make the travel squad, um, you know, right out the gate. But a few of those guys are certainly in the mix. Jamel Smith certainly in the wide right receiver mix. He'll be in that rotation, and, and, and you'll see some, of, you know, see some of him in there. Um, you know, Kyle Sikowski on the uh, defensive side um, has, has just played extremely well uh, and has gotten some extra reps in there, um, you know, as well. So. Uh, those are those are two guys right off the top of my head that I assume you're going to see, you're going to see some of right out the gate. Uh, it's, you know, not only just you know, stopping the run by staying in our gaps and uh, you know having the uncommon effort to stay, you know, do your job. Uh, every week's different; it's a different ball game, and uh, you know certainly we'll be a you know decided underdog going into these things, and uh, uh, we're really looking forward to the challenge. It makes no sense just lining up somebody that. Can just walk over the first game and get no gauge. I think this will give us a real good gauge of where we're at and how much work we have to do. And I know there'll be a lot of work to do after the first game, win or lose, or always is. Uh, but in these first three weeks of the season is going to shape, I think, the, the entire year.